I have the coolest job in the world because I get to program rockets and send them into space. My name is Kristen Stewart. My name is Thomas Island. Science helps me to understand the fundamental principles of the world around me. What's awesome about being a software engineer is it's, it's so cool. We get to uh, program the brains of a rocket, um, all the support equipment, the launch pad, um, all the background infrastructure for the teams. There's really so much you can do. The most interesting part of my job is that uh, we literally strap down a rocket and fire it and test the performance of an engine in that way. Yeah, this is incredible. I love getting my hands on all of the components that we use. Here, building the actual vehicle or out at our test site as well, where we're testing things on a much larger scale for our actual launch vehicle. Uh, and I get to be a part of putting all that together, getting on the spanners, getting on the tools. Uh, and then getting to see it fire and doing some of the analysis for it. As a software engineer, essentially we're responsible for um, helping the rocket all talk to each other, helping the guidance, navigation and control team to determine where the rocket is during its flight, uh, where it needs to be to get the payload in the correct orbit, and also how to make adjustments to the control systems in order to get it there. This is a test program that we're running. Um, so that's actually a flight computer inside the rocket here. And what that does in real time when the rocket is launching during our test programs, um, it can actually control these little motors right here. And by controlling that, it can change the position of the fin. So that gives us complete control of how the rocket is performing in the air. There's many aspects of STEM in my role. Um, I use a lot of maths in analyzing data from uh, propulsion tests. I then also get to play with all of the instruments involved with those tests. So it's a lot of physics there, and then there's the practical side of the physics as well. Uh, and with propulsion, it's all based on the chemistry. So it's the chemistry of the rocket engine that gets us to space. So these parts are for uh, our launch vehicle at some of the motor components. We uh, inject a liquid oxidizer into a solid propellant. So this sits in the flow and helps to decompose the kind of oxidizer we use to get it ready to go in with the solid propellant and combust, make fire, make thrust and actually send us up. Um, so this here is um, an expansion joint. So it seals with O-rings uh, and it basically allows expansion between our metal parts as things get pressurized and expand. Uh, we have to make sure we can take up that expansion without causing any structural issues. Go in. Yeah, so th these parts here are for our, the oxidizer to come through and get injected into our solid fuel downstream where it generates combustion uh, and that's when we get the fire and thrust. Once a rocket like launches and leaves the platform, essentially it's on autopilot the whole time and we're relying on our software to do its job and all the other systems and we need to make sure that all our testing and everything we've done is enough to deploy our satellite into orbit. You know, we're trying to do some really uh, amazing things here at Gilmore. We're really trying to push the frontier of space in Australia, so every single day is a challenge and we get to be the first people in Australia to launch a rocket into space from here. As a kid, I was fascinated by space, not just looking at the stars and seeing amazing constellations, but really understanding or trying to understand some of the aspects of space that are so unknown to us. So black holes, uh, neutron stars, all of the really in-depth stuff that's out there that we're not exposed to just by looking at the stars, but once we start reading and researching it, we come to understand there's so many cool things going on in space. The technology I get to use really varies. So we have a lot of 3D printing, whether it's plastics or metal. We get to play a lot with things like inertial measurement units, which have gyroscopes in them for measuring uh, the acceleration and change of rates of our vehicles. Uh, and then on a day-to-day -day basis, I get to play around with things like pressure sensors, thermocouples, flow meters. Yeah, I studied electrical and electronic engineering at Griffith University. Um, I absolutely loved it. I learned about sciences and engineering like I did. And by understanding it, we can actually use this knowledge, apply it and design and build some really cool things. 
So in software, we work very closely with the GNC team. Um, that stands for Guidance, Navigation and Control. Navigation system helps us to understand where the rocket actually is during its flight. Guidance system lets us know the desired trajectory that the rocket needs to be in in order to get our satellite into orbit. And the control system is the adjustments we make to keep it on that desired path. In high school, I studied a lot of maths and physics, uh, and I went on to study a Bachelor of Physics at university. And I'm so glad I did. Uh, my advice to young people out there thinking of getting into science would be to really push yourself and actually go for your goals. I didn't think that I'd be able to land a job in the space industry in Australia, and I'm so glad I continued with my push to go into science because I have been able to, and it's been incredible. Any advice, you know, if there's any opportunities you have to tinker with stuff like this, get some real hands-on experience, do as much as you can, and really get the chance to be hands-on, see what you like doing. It can help you to understand where you want to be. These rockets will help to take research payloads, commercial payloads, and a whole other array of things into space, into low Earth orbit, hopefully beyond. Later on, we might head to the moon, head to Mars, we'll see. But for now, we're helping to take Australian space company satellites into space. The ultimate question for me is how did the universe begin? And by going to space and doing research there, I think we'll answer that question pretty soon. The ultimate question for me is how I can use my knowledge and skills to help humanity be the best it can be.